all right, I need some help. Um, I'm really trying to figure out how to use the SymPy library in Python to do some other Lagrange, uh, Lagrangian mechanics stuff. And so I followed um, this video that I found that it was really impressive that all the stuff that you can do in Sim SymPy. Um, and so basically you, you let a whole bunch of things be variables. So you get an answer in, in variables that you can then change later. That's pretty cool. Um, and then some of the variables, my angles, theta one, theta two, theta three, are functions. So apparently this is how you do that. Then we just have some names to make things easier. So we say that the any d means like a derivative. So this is the first derivative, and these are the second derivatives. Um, we tell it where all of the Cartesian coordinates of the things on the triple pendulum are. We figure out the kinetic energy. So we're even doing these rational things that it, it's fancy with its treating one half as truly a fraction. Um, and then it's basically just the mass times the velocity squared. Um, and of course the potential energy is just all the MGH is added up. And then we say that the Lagrangian is the kinetic energy minus the potential energy. And we set up a whole bunch of equations here. So the Lagrangian equation number one is the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to theta one minus, and this is like a double derivative. It's a time derivative and a derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the theta one dot basically. Um, so this, line here, this just this line here, and maybe because of the simplifies, I don't know, but I don't even think I'm using that simplify right. I don't know, it takes about a minute. This one, which actually is simply trying to get all of the double dots alone on the left-hand side, takes eight minutes. I, I wrote five minutes here, but it's actually eight minutes. So this is super, super long. Then I think I understand this lambda phi stuff. It makes it so that you can turn things into... Um, calculatable thing. So for example, it turns all of these sines and cosines uh, from simpy sines and cosines to numpy sines and cosines. So they're calculatable. That doesn't actually take that long. Then you have to tell it what the next step is always going to be in the in the ODE solver. So basically you're saying, hey, the, um, the derivative of all of the things that I care about is this. And so you actually have to turn it into a collection of one dimensional um, ODEs rather than two, or, you know, instead of theta double dots, you have to have just theta dots all the time. So you have to introduce these new variables, these Zs. And I actually think that these three lines here are a waste of time, but whatever, I, I was trying to follow what the guy was doing. Uh, but anyways, none of this is really takes a long time. Then you use the ODE in the solver. And I would say that this line takes, I don't know, 20 seconds, something like that. And ultimately you get, um, you know, this is just redrawing it so that we can see a nice animation. And when we're all said and done, we get an animation like this. This is a triple pendulum starting up above with a short one, a medium one, and a long one. And I want you to pay particular attention to that shape right there because we'll see it again. So, okay, works, I guess. So now let's compare that to Mathematica. So in Mathematica, I do basically the same thing. I set the lengths, identical lengths, same masses. Uh, I was thinking of putting some friction in, but I didn't up, end up using it. Um, I've got the positions, and I, I mean, I did some fancy footwork here so that I can very rapidly prototype where all of the x's and y's are. Um, I got my kinetic energy, which is 1 half mv squared. I've got my potential energy, mgh's, just adding a, a bunch of tables together. Got my Lagrangian is t minus v. I set up what the Euler Lagrange equation is. I simplified it just in case that would help. I don't think it does. Uh, again, it's the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the variable minus the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the variable dot, and then an additional time derivative set equal to zero. Then I use ND solve. I set all of my initial conditions, in this case, to the angle of two radians, and the velocities are all set to zero. Um, and by the way, it has all of these this length lengths thing, so I can actually do a, any, I can do a quintuple pendulum if I wanted to. Um, so anyways, I want to show you that I don't, I mean, I don't have to tell you how long this runs, I can just run it. So this takes, I don't know, three, two seconds, and two seconds later, what we get is the exact same result, and I'll point out the shape when we see it. So I'll just pause it when, we, when it gets there. Uh, right there. That is the same exact shape we saw. So I'm actually pretty sure that these two are coming up with the same solution, which is which is cool. But this is, I think, a hundred times faster to run. So I just need some help because I'd love to be able to give up on Wolfram and, and move over to Python. Um, and this is, some of you who've read my blog and stuff know that this is the kind of thing I do all the time. And I would love it if I could just do it. And I was really excited about SymPy, but oh my gosh, I, a factor of a hundred, it's just, that really bothers me.